Well, I don't have to tell you that television has revolutionized the world, but perhaps sitting on that side of the camera, you would be interested in finding out how it has affected those of us on this side of the camera, and particularly people like Peter Falk, who have become international celebrities. Peter Falk, of course, became famous as Columbo on television with his uh, rumpled raincoat, and uh, now he makes movies. His latest called All the Marbles About Girl Wrestlers. Peter Falk's a wonderfully friendly guy, down to earth, and much like the Columbo character. But this time he did not have his raincoat, and we talked, and I was interested to find out about his enjoyment of being a celebrity. Is it good or bad? It's pretty nice. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, there are things about it that aren't so hot, but on, on balance, uh, it, it, it's very nice. Very Has nice. it enabled you, and does it enable you now, to do exactly what you want to do and nothing else? Uh, no, not really, because what you really want to do is you want to find good scripts, and it doesn't make any difference who you are. Good scripts are hard to find, and that includes everybody. You know. Well, I hear that so much, and yet there's thousands of people writing. There must be good scripts in, in just if there's only 5%. I don't have any answer for it, Joe. If, they, if they're out there, I don't get them. But, I mean, all the actors that I know all say the same thing. They're looking for them. Okay, I, mean, let's... I, I think that the problem applies to Pacino, with De Niro, everybody. Redford, they all, all have the same problem. What, uh, is there any one thing you can characterize that, that is, is the ingredient of a good script? All good scripts share one thing in common. What is that? Well, usually when you're reading it, you want to turn the page. That's a good indication. Page turner, yeah. You get to the bottom of the page, are you interested? Is it compelling? Is it touching? If you laugh a lot, it's a good sign. If you cry a lot, that's a good sign. If you care about the people, that's a good sign. But that varies with everybody. I mean, two people can read the same script, and some person, one, one will laugh and care, and the other person will say, who gives a damn about this, and throw it away after 20 pages. Is being enormously successful and being uh, an important person in the business what you thought it would be before it all happened to you? I always knew right from the beginning uh, that it wasn't what it cracked up to be. I'm right. talking about the celebrity aspect of it. Yeah. I mean, I always knew that there was something wrong with that, that it was a terrific thing to have, but it wasn't the, uh, it's not the answer. It's not the answer to life. I mean, being recognized in a restaurant is not the answer to life. <laughs> What's that great saying? People usually become famous when they're thinking about something else. Oh, I don't know what that... Uh... It, it means that if you are preoccupied with being oh, famous and a celebrity, mean, yeah. it's really not, it's not what it's all about. Well, that, that might be true. I think uh, it happens both ways. I think there are people who are obsessed with becoming famous, and a lot of them get there that way. But I think that they end up unhappy. Mm -hmm. I know that when I first started, I had no idea whether what, what, what was going to happen to me. I wanted to make a living as an actor. I never thought that I'd be on, uh, in the movies, or I never thought I'd be in television. I was an actor in New York, was working off-Broadway. I wanted to get into the actor's studio. That was the important thing. I thought the end of life was being in the actor's studio. That's happiness, being admitted to the actor's studio. But, okay, I'm glad you mentioned that, because Burt Young, the man who's in this movie with you, was uh, laying carpet in New York City and wrote a phony letter to Lee Strasberg to get with a girl. And he got in Actors Studio and that launched his career. Yeah. Now that seems something it. wrong, but it was the most important thing in your life to happen. And for him it was like, well, eh, I'll try it. And it worked. What's that tell us about acting? I don't know. Uh, I, think probably he, I think it probably was important to Burton. What, he, he claims that it wasn't? He did it to get a date with this girl. He wanted to be Oh, actress. he did it to get a date with a girl? Yeah. Well, that's different. I mean, <laughs> I mean that that's really serious. Is, that really is. <laughs> that really is. I'll tell you, a lot of actors become actors in order to be with girls. That was one of the things that I liked about acting. Yeah. That's true. You thought, oh, gee, you boys and girls putting on a play, there must be a lot going on. Yeah. You know? Is there? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> No, but you know we have an image. I say we. I mean the general public who goes to see a Peter Falk in a movie or, or whomever. We have an idea that, that and I think that the actors have, have created a lot of it, that acting is a calling. It's like the ministry. You don't be a, you're not an actor just to make a living. You're an actor to move people. You were saying scripts that make you laugh, make you cry. So I think when someone reaches your position, we want to try and get, or at least I do, more to what you think about the whole thing and the celebrity that goes with it. But 
<clears throat> what I find often is it's kind of accidental. Burt Young, well, it was an accident. Yeah, I, I don't, in terms of a calling, I mean, uh, people who have a mission in life, they're either going to help the poor, or, I, I never felt that. Uh, I never felt that it was a calling in that sense. It was just, it, it was something that I eventually came to the conclusion that I could do well. Uh, and you do what you can do well. It's mm -hmm. as simple as that. Uh, you do, if you can do something pretty good, you, you enjoy doing it, and that's what you do. I don't know of any other reason. I don't believe that people become actors because they want to bring joy to the audience. That's not the basic reason. No, the basic reason is much more personal, more selfish reason. To please yourself. To please do yourself, something. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have obviously done that, and you have pleased millions of people in the, in the process, so you have, <clears throat> I would say you got it made, Peter. Yeah, now if I could only make some money. Gee, well, we'll take up a collection for Peter Falk. Thanks very much. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>